to Rise of Geeks Geek Hall, the first of, I hope, many videos. Um, basically, the premise will be that whenever I um, venture out of my uh, cave here to um, go shopping, I suppose is the best word, and get a load of stuff, I'm going to come back and share with you to see show you what things I've got. I mean, it may prove to be interesting, it may not be. Um, I always buy new things, I sometimes buy pre-owned, like games, DVDs, um, but we're just going to see what it means. It's going to generally be geeky things. We're not going to like, talk about any just anything. Uh, we'll start off though with, I think, the comics, or at least the um, trade paperbacks I got. I mean, I'm not going to go for every single comic I got, but I get a fair few each time. Um, first one I mentioned is Nailbiter. Nailbiter is coming by uh, Image Comics. Um, premise being there's this town called Buckaroo. Um, I think it's called Buckaroo. Um, and it seems to produce a lot of uh, serial killers. And the most, um, uh, the most notorious one is the nail biter, who is uh, was found with uh, basically he basically bit people's nails or their fingers down to the bone. The basic premise. And um, a cop is going to this town to try and find out if he can work out uh, why this town produces so many serial killers. That's the base premise. I mean, I've only read this first um, five issues, so it's the first trade, but it's very good. I hope that if they pick another um, comic to make a series out of it, like they did with The Walking Dead, I hope it would be this one because it's a really good series, um, really good um, book, and it would be a great series. Uh, moving on to the other. Uh, book I got, it would be Preacher. Um, it's a much bigger, this is uh, an older book and I think it's all it's all out now, this is the first of oh, many, maybe eight or ten, ten books. Um, the basic gist of this is that uh, a preacher, as my guest, who's sort of lost his belief in God, is going to track down uh, God to make him answer for his crimes of abandoning his creation, I guess. Um, I've not actually read this yet. I've heard a lot of good things, and I believe uh, it to be considered one of, one of the best comics ever come out from Vertigo, so I look forward to reading that. I'll probably read that later on tonight. Um, what next? Uh, I'll show you the toys I got. Don't, don't think bad me. As you might have known, if you watch my uh, gaming channel, my actual channel, I'm quite a big fan of Minecraft, and I already have a Enderman and a uh, Creeper uh, plush, thanks to um, my girlfriend. Uh, while scavenging through Amazon, I found that there were more of them that were quite um, cheaply priced. So I managed to get myself an ocelot, a baby pig, and a baby sheep. I 
do also have a bat and I think a baby mushroom and I think a spider um, coming but they aren't here yet um, so so I can't show you that it's not here yet. If I seem out of it by the way, I did last night I did go and see the prodigy um, which was Um, tiring but good. And I got to be right at the front. Um, now let's move on to DVDs. But first, we should mention the anime. I got the first series in here. I think it's the only series. Um, High School of the Dead, including the OVA Judges of the Dead. This was um, a steal, really, I think, for. Uh, I think this was about £10 on Amazon. Yeah, that includes all 12 episodes and the OVA. Uh, the first series of High School of the Dead. Not that was actually, High School DxD. Um, which, I mean, there's a fair amount of fans there in this one, which can get a bit annoying, but yeah, but once you get past that nature story, I, I like it. I know there's another series coming out. I've also started collecting the uh, manga books, but um, I think it's just called New. I think it's just High School DxD New. Um, so I'm waiting for it to come out and give in English. Anyway, so I can watch it. I mean, I've watched it in. I think. No, I haven't watched it yet. I will watch the subtitle, but I would like to see it in English dub as well. And the other one I got was uh, Sekirei. I have seen all of these series before, but I've now actually owned them. Um, I now tend to get the second season per engagement. This is also another heavily fan service anime, and it's also about girls fighting. Um, the Sekirei are the characters involved, and they basically are in a tournament to see who's the strongest. And the character on the front is Musubi, who's the main, main fighter, if you like. Also, managed to get Starship Troopers finally. I couldn't believe I didn't actually already have this on DVD. Um, Starship Troopers is one of those sci fi films from the 90s, I believe. Is it 90s? I don't know. I think it's from the 90s. Anyway, um, it's one of those films that I was probably too young to watch when I saw it, but I loved it. It's, it's very gory um, for its time. I mean, it's not got the best special effects now, but it was the 90s. If you're a sci-fi fan, if you like sort of campy sci-fi, give it a shot if you haven't seen it already. But I managed to put this up to 75p in an exchange, which is or CEX, which is a second-hand um, store in the UK. I'm not sure if they're worldwide, but they're definitely here in the UK. Also managed to get. Gremlins for, I think this was 75p as well. Gremlins 2, I should say. Uh, the first film, despite being the original, I do prefer the sequel. This one has more fun to it, it's less about the sort of campy horror. I mean, this is definitely campy, but I just love the Gremlins singing Frank Sinatra songs. I just can't, can't go over it. Love it. And finally, but not least when it comes to DVDs, I also picked up a Hellraiser collection, which is. The first three films um, in the puzzle box, as you can see, and the best thing about it is it opens up like this. Can you see it? So it's the original three Hellraiser films and a special bonus disc in this case. If you've not seen, it's Clive Barker's Hellraiser too, of course I do. It's basically. I don't know how to describe Hellraiser. It's one of those horror films that's. If you're into horror, you've probably already seen it. I don't know why I can say it's, it's a pre. pre what we call modern special effects. It's just a lot of prosthetics and stuff. So if you like your good old school horror with lots of body horror, then definitely check it out. Um, but if you haven't already, I'm not sure what I can do to convince you otherwise it's worth the time because you sort of you've got to be into this sort of thing. Um, there is more than three horror songs, but this is like the original trilogy. Um, these ones I consider to be the proper films, but yeah, well. And then finally, we have the games I've got somewhere. First, we have this sort of hybrid of um, game and film. This is short piece Rango Tsukimi's longest day. Um, 
it's five animations and one game by Suda51. I'm planning to do a, uh, a let's play of the game, which I'm going to be doing after this video. Um, so go and check that out on my Rosalix channel. Um, I've not watched the animation yet, um, but it was a, this was really cheap. I can't remember how much it was now, but it's basically it was Japanese. It sounded strange. I thought it was cheap, so I had to buy it. So there we go. Um, weirdly, the um, obviously because it's a PS3 disc, you can't watch the animation on a Blu-ray player. It's just the PS3, which is a bit strange to me. I'm not sure whether you can just put it on separate discs. Um, and there's another game I I. It's based on a manga, but I've never read and never actually had it before. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. This is a one-on-one -on -one fighter game, as far as I'm aware. Um, I might do a video on this. I'm not sure. It just it also looks very strange and um, it just looks strange in Japanese. Is why I bought it. As far as it's a one-on-one fighter game with lots of weird characters. I mean, there's a guy on the back of a top hat and a very very cool moustache. Uh, that's not much more I can say. And last but not least, well, maybe a bit least, I finally own Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. I've been avoiding this one, to be honest. Um, Wilson Song, who played it, did do a video, I think, on it on his channel, um, told me that this is this, it's not Metal Gear. I know it's not Metal Gear Solid, it's not supposed to be, but why, why call it Metal Gear then? Why, why not just call it something else? Um, there's no stealth in it, as far as I'm aware, it's all about running through the cyborg ninja and hacking and slashing. Um, but it is a uh, Hideo Kojima Metal Gear game, so I thought, why not just just go for it and try it. So that's that's what I intend to do. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm not sure if I'm going to record a video of this because I don't want to capture my sadness if it is that bad. I mean, it can't be worse than Peace Walk, I, I just love that game. Um, but I'm looking forward to uh, the what's it called? Phantom Pain. I think that might be back from when I played Ground Zeroes, and that was um, that was quite good. It seemed more like the old school Metal Gear. Obviously, it wasn't David Hater, which I can't believe he's gone. Uh, it was who was it again? Kira Sutherland, I believe. Uh, he is now the voice of uh, Solid Snake, which is a bit strange. But oh well, um, that's all I've got to share with you, but I will say I have seen The Avengers 2 now, uh, Age of Ultron. Haven't seen that, please, please, please go and see it, it's great. It is probably, uh, same if not better than the first Avengers film, but my favourite would still be Guardians of the Galaxy, without a doubt. Um, uh, the next thing I will be sharing with you will be... On release day, I'm not sure which time it's not sure it's going to arrive. I will be playing Witcher Wild Hunt. I will be getting it on release day, and I will be streaming it um, on Twitch slash Rizergit. So keep your eyes open f on s for that if you are um, eager to see what the game looks like without lots of you know cuts and showing off from the developer. If you actually want to see the game looks like from those of who's not played the game before, so. I own a dodgy Xbox 360 because it doesn't like discs half the time, so I haven't been able to play Witcher 2. I played a very minimum amount of Witcher 1. Um, so, this, is, this for me is going to be a sort of a uh, new experience with Witcher games. Um, but yeah, I will be playing it on PS4, live streaming it on the 19th um, of this month. So, look, keep a look out for on the Review or Die page. There will, I'll be put a link under this video to the Review or Die page. On the 19th, I will be sharing the the stream, uh, the link to the stream, uh, at least 10 minutes before I start. 10 minutes, half an hour if I can. Um, but once again, I can't guarantee what time uh, I will be starting because the game's arriving through normal post. So, um, but hopefully you can join me for that on launch day. Until next time, guys. Though this has been Rose Geeks Geek Horn, and I'll see you again next time. Bye bye.